Hello everyone, I am Bets Golden. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to be creating a piece that is super fun. It is a multi-layer one pool gel press. This is gonna be a print that I'm going to make up for my entryway for the summer. And there are a few things that you need to keep in mind in order to, for this to be successful. The most important thing is patience because you have to wait between the paint layers before you can add on more paint. So with that in mind, I am working on my 9 by 11 gel plate that is on my Tonic Studios Tim Holtz glass mat. It's the little one. That's because I'm going to want to be able to pick it up and move it as the paint dries. I also want to be able to see the grid underneath and so that's why you have that glare right there is because it's glass and it reflects so I couldn't put my craft mat under it that I normally would use that would cut out that glare. So I hope you bear with me. I think that it is going to be, um, uh, you're going to really like this technique. So I'm going to be using the Simon Hurley Scene Builders and I'm just going to line this up with one of these grid lines down here and I'm going to add my first layer. My first layer is going to be the grass right here. And I'm going to be working from my darkest to my lightest because what I lay down first is the first thing that you're going to see on your print. So I'm gonna be using some Evergreen Dina Wakely Media Acrylic Paint for this. And I'm actually gonna use a brush. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this out like so. And I'm just going to dab in my stencil all the way over to my liking. And this is just gonna be my first layer. So I'm gonna go back through because I didn't get quite all the spots and I really wanna make sure that I have a nice layer of paint right there. We're just gonna lay this out. Now this technique will not work if you get impatient and you want your paint to dry faster. It'll get into a muddy muss. So you really want to just give it some time to dry. And I think we're about good. And I'm okay with the brush strokes in this. I think that's gonna be really cool on grass. So I'm, that's why I'm, I'm using the brushes. I actually think that that's a really cool technique. All right, so from here, just gonna pull up my stencil and I'm gonna let this dry. So I'm gonna go wash my stencil, wash off my brush. Hopefully by the time that's done, this will be dry and we can go on and add our second layer. This layer is dry, so we're gonna go on and add our next layer, which is going to be the mountain. So for the mountain, I'm going to line it up like so. And I'm going to take a little spatula for this one and add the lime on it. And so I'm just gonna do off to the side again. Now this is lime, it's that one, and it's a little bit lighter. So I'm just gonna add this on in here. Making sure that I cover that piece that we just did. Now I do need to be careful about that sun. I'm gonna actually put the sun on as well, but I'm gonna do that in just a minute. I'm just gonna do some straight application here with this. So I'm just going to push that around, get that paint all smeared on there. I wanna make sure that my edges are on good. All right, now from here, I'm actually gonna add a little bit of texture to these mountains. So I'm gonna take just some of this paper, I mean some of this uh, bubble wrap, and lightly 
tap it on. And now I have some texture on the mountains. And there we go. So I'm going to want to add my sun next. And I can do this while this is still wet. I just have to make sure that I'm not working in that area. So for my sun, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it up here. Just going to move this up a smidge and over. And I'm going to pop this in here. We're going to use this piece again. And that's because I want to stamp my sentiment in there when I'm all done and over. And when I'm all done and over. Like I'm going to be over it, right? When I'm all done <laughs> with the pool. <laughs> Woo! So for this, I'm going to be using some lemon. And I'm going to just paint this on, dab it in with my paintbrush right here. So I'm just going to take and just dab this on. And again, I'm going to be coloring the center of my sun with some ink at the end. And the cardstock that I'm using is Simon Hurley Bright White cardstock. So it's going to be beautiful with this pull. And it also is going to work really nice to stamp and do some ink blending, but I don't want to blend in the ink into the paint. I want a nice white crisp center. And uh, so I have a, a nice base to work on. So I'm just getting all of that in there like so. And I, and I like the texture, you know, of the brush leaving, you know, leaving that texture of the brush in my sun. This is a fun, funky type piece. So totally jives. And I'm doing the brush on this just because I feel like I can, I can get a little bit better coverage with such a small area that I'm working on. So I'm just going back on over making sure I've placed paint on anywhere that might be a little bit too translucent. All right, so from here, I have to let this set up and dry, and then we will go ahead and add our next layer. All right, so next up we're gonna la um, add the third layer to this and I'm actually gonna create the background with this. So I'm going to be using a mix of apricot and carnation and I'm just going to pop that center back on over my center of the uh, sun because again, I want to actually create something in there and if you hear, it's my dogs. <laughs> All right, and so I'm just gonna pop on a little bit of apricot and some carnation on directly on the mat. And then I'm gonna take my brayer and I'm just going to brayer it out. And I'm gonna be a little bit careful on this underside over here. I don't want to put down, um, I don't want to put too much pressure on my mountains and things because I don't want to start to lift it. So I do need to add this with a little bit of care. And I'm going to just pop on some more paint. Better to go in with a light touch than with a heavy hand on this. I would rather have uh, need to add than try to take away. All right. So there's this. And then from here, I'm gonna add a little bit more texture by taking this Lua stamp. Lua, 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 I can't even talk. It's this here, you guys, you can read it. It's this stamp. <laughs> and I'm just going to pop on just a little bit of texture on this. And this is going to need to set up as well. And then once this dries, we'll do our final layer. All right, now is our moment of truth. We're gonna do our pull, but before we do that, we have to 
put some paint down so we can pull it. We're gonna be using sand. And basically what we're gonna do is we are just going to take this and apply it. Now this is gonna show through on the back, so make sure that you use a color that you want on your, uh, to show through, because you're gonna see this most certainly. I did go ahead and clean off this, the mask for the center, because I still want that there. And I'll remove it before we do our pull. And I'm just going to cover this with this paint. And you kind of want to see the image through. So, and I just want to be real careful around my sun and around my um, mountains. All right, so that's about right. So I'm gonna remove this, All right? Set this aside. And now I'm going to take my piece of white cardstock and I'm just going to place it right about here. It doesn't have to be perfect because I can go ahead and uh, definitely um, trim this down after. So I'm gonna make sure that I have pressure all over and I actually like to take and kind of brayer out the back just to make sure that I, I really have it stuck on there nice and good, okay? All right, and then we are just going to take and pull this up. And voila. So I'm going to take and do something to the center here once this dries to give it um, just a cute little sentiment. And then I'm going to show you what you can do to finish this piece off. So and up next, I'm going to fill in this sun, but I just wanted you guys to kind of take a look at this gel print press. And the reason why I decided to do this on the gel print instead of just straight up paint is because you can create really fun texture on a gel press, plus it picks up bits and pieces of paint that you didn't even know were there, and it gives a really cool effect. So I think this is gonna be pretty stinking awesome on the wall. I'm going to actually go back though and add in some clouds with that same scene builder sensor stencil that I had. But before I do that, like I said, I'm gonna do the title because I am going to use some white acrylic paint and then also the stencil. So I'm going just to take my blending tool and I'm going to use Over the Moon in the center of this just to give it some color like so. And then I am going to take Slippery When Wet and I'm going to stamp a sentiment from this stamp set road trip. And I'm just going to use the Sending Sunshine and, uh, and um, Hugs sentiment. So this is a really cute set by Simon Hurley. You can find over all this really, I think, over on the Ranger set um, website. I'll include the link down below. Pretty sure everything I'm using can be found on Ranger. <laughs> All right, so here we go. I'm going to just take this, and this one is slippery when wet, and just pop it down in the center. It's not gonna be real dark, but it'll definitely be there. And then from here, we're gonna go in and just add some um, clouds. All right, we're gonna go back to our stencil because I just think that this could use some clouds. 
and I'm going to use some acrylic white paint and actually just one of these blending tools. I think that that would be best. So I'm just going to get a little bit of our acrylic white paint over here and then I'm going to probably do about two of these um, clouds. So I'm just going to pick that up and I may need to get more and I'm going to just blend it on in and my stencil just moved or actually you know it works better if I dab it on and I do need some more of this paint. So I'm just going to pick up some more of this paint and just dab it on. Like that. That's cute. And then I'm going to, can you hear my boys in the background? <laughs> and then I'm going to carefully do another one about here. That paint is wet so I really don't want to have to um, smoosh it in there. You know, I don't want to lay it on there because I don't want to get any of the other stencil on it. I'm being careful. I, I could mask some of these pieces off. But there you go. So that is super cute. From here, I'm going to trim the whole piece down and then I will put it in a frame. Depending on the size of it, I may need to mount it on a piece of cardstock, um, but we'll see and I'll show you pictures of it done in just a minute. All right, so I went ahead and I outlined um, the stints, some of the images, well, the, all the images really, in this Food Ball 1.5 pen. This is a fantastic pen. It paints over, it writes over paint, and it's super smooth. So I really, really love this pen. This is also Ranger, believe it or not. And then I went ahead and I grounded it on a piece of black cardstock, cut it down to five by five, and then this is five and a half by five and a half because my frame is going to go like this. But I wanted to show you guys what I did here. With the glitter, I just took some of this palm leaf glitter and smeared it all around the grass, and then in the sunbeams, I use sunburst. Now for the clouds, I'm going to leave the mountains alone, but for the clouds, I'm going to use this new moon dust stickles. With, with um, glitter gel, I usually don't like to use a brush because it will, it can tend to ruin your brush, but for this particular project, I'm going to just because um, I, I, the way I want it to be placed on the cloud and I'm just gonna make sure that I wash the brush right after because I just want these these little clouds just to shine a little bit and I really really love this glitter gel I think it's so fantastic and then once it dries it is going to be ready to be placed in a frame and displayed all right, you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this project. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you did. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Also, um, I created this project for the Ranger website for their projects. So um, go, check the, go check it out. It'll be available in July. I'll post it down below, the link down below, so you can... Um, Go check it out. And then also, if you're interested in any of these products, like I said, all of these are from Ranger. So, um, yeah. So, I think it's super cute. Fun little mixed media piece that you can do at home for your summer. Until next time, I'm Bets Golden. Happy crafting.